Hey, this is Professor S, and for the next five minutes or so, I want to do something really kind of different. One of the hardest concepts in membrane transport for students to understand usually is secondary active transport. And for years, I've had this really weird but useful analogy I've used in class, and I've come into this cartoon world here today to kind of show you that analogy to get you thinking in the right way before you actually learn about secondary active transport. So this is just a setup for the real process which will be covered in a separate video. Now, in this beautiful little cartoon video game type world I've created, uh, I want you to notice there's a, a hill above me uh, and gosh, wouldn't it be kind of cool if there were a turbine powered generator on that hill? A turbine powered generator like this one I'm now standing next to. Uh, the thing is, this generator is just sitting on the hillside and it's got nothing to power it. In order for this thing to produce electricity, we need something to make the turbine turn and, ooh, let's go to the top of the hill. Right here, we have a pond or a lake or whatever you want to see this large pool of water as being. If we could get this water to flow down the hill through the generator, it could turn the turbine and make electricity for us. What we need is some, side, some sort of water trough system. A water trough system like this one. And this water trough system obviously ends in a big bucket to catch the water. The thing is, if we let water flow down this trough system, it will definitely turn the turbine, it will definitely produce electricity, it will do it because water's following its gravitational gradient down the hill. The problem is, once the water gets to the bottom of the hill here, it can't get itself back up. And once we drain the pond enough, we can't keep this going any longer. What we need is a way to keep the water at the top of the hill so that it can constantly flow through the generator. What we have here is a crank attached to an elaborate, probably defies engineering standards pulley driven bucket brigade system that will pick up the water from the basin and take it back to the top of the hill and dump it into the pond. The thing is we need this crank handle turned and to pull that off it'd be helpful if we had some kind of animal that could do the turning. Ooh, buddy you're not what I had in mind I don't think you need to worry. <laughs> yeah he's right that's probably more appropriate let's go with the donkey. So if we hook the donkey up to the crank and we let the donkey turn the crank, it powers the pulley system, operates the bucket brigade, and keeps the water that's flown down the hill moving back up the hill so that it can keep flowing down the hill, powering our generator. And as long as we keep this powered by the donkey, which we can do by you know keeping him fed and switching in other donkeys from time to time, we can constantly move water up to the top of the hill. Now the point of moving water up to the top of the hill isn't for the sake of moving water up the hill, it's so that it will keep flowing down the hill so that the kinetic energy associated with that downward movement will keep the generator up powered. We're spending energy at the donkey to move water actively up the hill so that it will passively flow down the hill and in doing so do the work of powering our generator. We're spending energy one place so that we can do some active transport driven work another location. This idea of energy spent in one case to power something else is the entire principle behind secondary active transport. And now's the time I think to go watch that video. And credit rehearsals. This is just like a straight take rehearsal. Take. No, we're seeing how you react to distractions. 
how I react to distraction. What, what's Squish doing here? You know, just do the tape, we'll handle it. Okay. Hey, this is Professor S, and if you found that video useful, here's a couple other videos you might also find useful, and don't forget to click the button to subscribe so you can see all the new videos as I get them posted. Uh, thank you. Um, distraction?